How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, well, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, as of, I don't know, like, two weeks ago, maybe a little over that, my family and I, we were all out in this wonderful state called Florida. Some of you don't know where Florida is, it's somewhere down, you know, southwest, you know, s somewhere near there. And uh, it's actually not somewhere near there, but it's it's down there, you know. And for like the first like, I was down in Florida for two weeks, and for for the first like week, the other part of our party that was gonna be down there with us, enjoying Florida and the theme parks and stuff, no one was there. It was just me and my parents. And within the first week, we were trying to find things to do. And me and my family decided to go to a place called Legoland Orlando. And I wanted to make a video on it because I thought that the place was interesting. Um, I'm going to give my honest opinions on it. And for some of you, if you decide to read in the comments about, about any of my opinions or anything like that about Legoland, first of all, I, I need to tell you, I am very understanding, uh, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not, for, you know, here, here's a good heads up, I'm not a hater of the place, okay, just understand that, I am very, I'm a very understanding person to when I give my opinions, I want you guys to understand that, so, um, yeah, so, Lego Land to me, it's a neat theme park, you know, everywhere you look from a building to you, you know, to, to decoration, for the most part, it's Lego themed. And there's a lot of, you know, Lego friends. I remember there was a part of the, of the Lego, uh, Lego land, you know, um, there's like Lego Ninjago and we went on a ride where, where you guys would like do this and like shoot like uh like little like lego studs to knock out the bad guys and stuff overall the lego land theme park it felt very underwhelming i was like i was like man this is not um something that you know like for someone like my age or like or or maybe a tad bit younger or anything like that it's not exactly fun and exciting you know like yes i am yes with all with well with, with all due in a way sadness i am comparing it to, to disney but yet at the same time though i'm very understanding that legoland was is very heavily themed towards like families with younger kids which is what i saw a lot of you know a lot of you know younger kids enjoying enjoying you know legoland and stuff and all the rides they're not super crazy su super intimidating they're not fast they're not okay actually there, there's a few roller coasters but the roller coasters aren't really long and there's not like crazy inversions and, and and you know contorting parts of the roller coaster or anything like that you know they're not super fast you know it's all it's all very you know you know younger family oriented you know with, with young kids and yeah I, I know it sounds very biased. I know it sounds negative, but I, I'm very understanding why the Legoland was themed that it, that it was. But some of the neater things about Legoland that I thoroughly thought was pretty cool and I enjoyed was was walking through and looking at all the all the cities that were built by the Lego Master Builders. That was really neat. And, you know, you got to see, like, ships that are just as big as, like, the Lego Titanic. There's skyscrapers that were probably as tall as me, and I'm 5'10". There's, um, there was also, funny enough, there's, there's, as you walk around these, like, you know, building structures of, of what the Lego Master Builders built, there was these buttons that you can press that made certain things happen. And funny enough, I don't know who thought of this idea, but there's some buttons that you can press and there's water that sprayed at a very, um, I guess you were standing in the right spot, the water could spray. 
on you at a very inconvenient spot. That's all I'm going to say. And it, and it made you look like you had to go to the bathroom, but you really couldn't hold it anymore. Let's just say it sprayed in that general direction. Okay. Um, okay, that wasn't cool. So Lego, Legoland, if you're watching this, um, you might want to, you know, aim those little water spouts a little bit more higher because, yeah. But, um, overall, I enjoyed my, I, you know, enjoyed myself walking through the park, you know, kind of seeing the different things. What was kind of cool was, after I got off the Ninjago ride, there was some, there was some, uh, sets that I didn't actually see at any typical Lego store, which is actually, let me go grab that real quick. Hold on a second. So this set right here, I actually got out in um, Legoland. And if you want to know if it's a Legoland exclusive, see this phrase right here. Okay, to me, as I'm recording, it looks you know, uh, reverse, but possibly it's probably not going to be reversed for when you're actually watching this footage. But if you want to know it's exclusive, there you go. And I decided to get it because it's a Lego Land exclusive. And I thought that was pretty neat. Um, but like I said, when I got off like the Ninjago ride, I remember, I remember kind of seeing like, uh, a theme, uh, Monkey Kids. I think that's more Legoland Pacific, I think. I saw some Ninjago sets that I did not see at a typical, you know, Lego store. For, you know, any, for, for any of you that are watching, any local Lego store that you go to, I didn't see some of the sets that you, that you would see at your local Lego store, you know. Um, what else did I, what else did I notice? Um, the, the, the park's really not big, you know, it's fairly small, but yet again, I understand that towards, you know, family, you know, families with, you know, younger kids. Um, what else? Uh... Trying, trying to think here. Yeah, that's, actually, I can't think of anything else to talk about because that, that is kind of the uh, point, you know, that's kind of one of the talk about Legoland. Very, uh, you know, very great environment, very family oriented. Uh, rides are fun, they're not super intense like Disney or Universal intense. So it's, it's safe for younger kids. Um, they got cool, like I said, cool, cool uh, buildings to look at. And um, they got some exclusive sets. Like, like this here. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't want to say quick video, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe, uh, it really does help me out, and it shows to the YouTube algorithm, you know, that, you know, I am something amazing around here, and uh, yeah, with that, I'm out of here, so see ya! Oh, 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 oh,